people who cut off their family, what did they to you? Grew up in an explosive and abusive household, when I was finally able to move out I started slowing distancing myself. Mom went off the deep end. Started out accusing me of sleeping with every single person I know yes, every person, coming up with outlandish stories for why I was an awful person, threatening suicide. When I cut her off completely she started stalking me. I changed my number and moved to a new state, I did not give anyone, including my brother, my new home address, and started receiving cards in the mail from her last year. My father was an abusive alcoholic who left us when I was a teen after several suicide attempts. He was clearly not okay mentally. We reconnected in my early 20s and when I finally started to build my trust for him again he disappeared. He tried to reconnect with me a year later when he needed something. I haven't spoken to him since then. Edit he attempted suicide. My cousin had addiction problems and just burned every bridge in our family. Used to be we'd buy him food and stuff he needs instead of just giving him money because it'd go straight to more drugs, but he eventually became so toxic we couldn't even do that. I found out my dad wasn't really my dad, and then my mother proceeded to lie about what actually happened. I experienced a childhood full of physical verbal abuse, but he never laid a hand on my sisters. Now I know why. I corroborated the truth via other family members before cutting off all contact with mom dad. Still close with sisters though. Aunt in the rich part of the family made my mother clean their bathrooms one day when she told them we couldn't afford food on lucky situation, both parents unemployed within days, instead of just helping her out. They didn't even pay her, they gave her food they had prepared that day and some potatoes and oil. From that day on, my mother was so hurt and felt so humiliated I decided to pretend they don't even exist. I was 10 years old. I was given to a 34-year-old man to be his third wife. My parents were so happy because it was a great honor to them that I was chosen out of all of the girls there to be with the man that was second in charge. I was smuggled out a month before my 13th birthday was deprogrammed, tried to end my own life when I was 16 BC of what I went through. I'm still alive. I'll be 49 this year. I don't know if my parents are even alive. Mother was never really present. Even after my father died. Brother father died when I was not an adult. House was left to four of his sons. One brother conned is into signing the house over to him for loan purposes to fix the house up. Stole house. Another brother stole from me and my family with high regularity. Forgave him a bunch of times. Kept doing it so I gave up. Extended family non-existent. With all that being said I have a fantastic relationship with the last brother. They threatened my life and then reported me to my country's officials for being a runaway I was 26, heathen, a whore, and I wish this was a joke a witch. All our crimes in my country. So yes. I have nothing to do with them anymore. My birth mother was totally unprepared for motherhood and considered me a threat to her relationship to my dad. She locked me in my room at 3 for several hours a day and hit me with spoons. In middle school she left over homecoming weekend to see her boyfriend dad was still married to her and missed my freshman homecoming. She doesn't care about me at all. Through no fault of our own, my mom and I became the black sheep of the family. We were excluded from family dinners, family get-togethers, and family trips. We decided we liked it that way, and just let it happen. Hakuna Matata my father knows exactly how to hurt me emotionally and does it with a disturbing amount of glee. His family is convinced he's a good person that will move heaven and earth for me. Black scissors hash. My new stepfather in a drunken rage tried to choke me out because I did not agree with his views. My mother did nothing to stop it and took his side. 22 years later have not spoken to anyone in my family. I didn't, they did. I decided to leave Mormonism and they chose the church over me. Grandmother told me that's what I get for having children out of wedlock when my infant son died. Yeeted her ass right out the front door, have not spoken to her in about 10 years. 
from what I've heard from an uncle she is dying of a brain tumor, could not happen to a more deserving person. Dad sexually abused sister. Mother and other sister chose his side. Yeah we don't talk much. I haven't cut off my family, but I have been cut off from a part of my family. When my father died I was 10, my mother remarried within a year. My biofather's family cut me, my brother and little sister off because of that. I've seen my grandmother on that side once like 15 years later, right before she died a month later. Luckily, my stepdad adopted us and became legally our dad and has treated us as his own every day of his life and still. Got tired of my over-dramatic gaslighting narcissistic mother's behavior. Wrote off her, my dad who always backed her up no matter what and both of my sisters since they're her flying monkeys. Life is good without the stress of their involvement in our lives. Mum told me she hoped I off myself most recent thing. Stepdad was a pedo. The rest hated that I wasn't mild-mannered and placid, and also wouldn't let me talk about being lesbian to anyone outside the family because of embarrassment. I was adopted, and a hyper-obese kid. Like 600 LHS super early on. They would literally mock and put blame on me for everything. One day my grandfather died and in the hospital, my grandmother and mother screamed it was my fault because I was so fat. Never forgive them. A few years later, left and never looked back. After my grandmother passed one of my sisters tried to sell her house. The house was left to one of my brothers and I on the condition that we maintain it and let our aunt who had polio live there as long as she could. Aunt left for a month to see a specialist and get started on a new PT treatment regime, came home to find a realtor showing the house. She was completely unapologetic about it and tried playing it off as she was doing us a favor because we would no longer be responsible for the house. My brothers SA me. My parents decided to hide it and told me if I tell anyone my parents would go to jail. They never got me the help I needed. Now many years later I'm getting help and trying to heal. My dad has decided he doesn't want any part in it. He would just rather be enraged about politics and my cousin being trans than to help me and stand up for something that actually matters. Whenever it gets brought up he changes the subject. I've since cut off my brothers and their families. I am working on cutting my dad off as well. I don't talk to family that poison the well with other family. If they talk too much about other family members I don't talk to them. I'm no contact with my sister. She was a difficult child especially as a teen and did stupid shit like date my ex-boyfriend, etc. After I had a baby, she would email and text me non-stop about how I could sell my plus-size clothing online and make a bunch of money. She became a gym rat and would body shame everyone on the family. She scammed the military into early retirement and does nothing all day except go to the gym and grift. My mom thinks she's the greatest, but I can't stand her. I haven't spoke to my family all in, in nearly 20 years, the day it all happened was the day I lost at least 80 of the problems in my life. My dad passed away 5 years ago, his family is notorious gnomes as the people who get drunk. My dad's funeral was pretty good until my uncles got drunk. We still have contact but there's not a lot of contact with them. Half my dad's family don't speak to him. When my granddad died, he left his farm to my dad. My dad decided to continue the work his father was doing and work on the farm. His siblings were furious he didn't sell it and split the money. Still to this day, he works on the farm and his siblings don't speak to him must be going on over 15 years. The last straw was the amount of hate in her eyes when I decided to be the bigger man and come back to apologize after a fight. I just realized I didn't have to fucking put up with it if I didn't want to we could either both be miserable all the time, or I could cut her off and only sh